For many consignment stores using Ricochet over a long period of time, they start to notice their inventory or consigners list becoming overwhelming due to old inventory or consigners who no longer consign items in their store. Ricochet does allow stores to archive and delete old consigner accounts and inventory. Archiving a consigner account or product will put that account or item out of your active inventory list. Archiving items or consigners can be done by clicking the checkbox next to the consigner or item, then clicking the More button and selecting Archive Selected. There are a few things to keep in mind when archiving accounts or items. The first is archiving a consigner account will not automatically archive their inventory. You will need to archive inventory first, then archive the consigner's account. An in-stock item attached to an archived consigner account can still be sold. Obviously, it won't show up in their consigner payout tab since their account is archived. But the payout due will show in the payout report in the Actions section. The other thing to note is that in the Archive section, which you can view by clicking View Archived in the Product section or under Accounts, will allow you to delete items completely from the system. But this can only be done if an item is marked as in stock. Any items or consigner accounts attached to past sales or payout info cannot be fully deleted from the system. So even if an item is marked as in stock, but they may have a quantity that was previously sold, this item will not be able to be fully deleted from the system. Let's review some ways to efficiently use the archive feature. Let's say an item gets entered incorrectly into the system. This might be because it got added incorrectly under store inventory, or maybe when using the manual sale option at the point of sale screen. If you go to products, then check the box next to the item, then click archive, you will immediately archive this item. If you're looking to clear out old items, like items that have been paid out, then you can use the filter option to reduce the inventory visible on the product screen. Run a filter for status, then click paid. This will show all items that have been paid out. You can also click the items per page dropdown menu in the lower left hand corner. You can set this to 50 or 100 to maximize the amount of items per page. Then if you click the checkbox above the line in the upper left hand corner, it will check all of the boxes on that page. If you do have multiple pages of items, then this process would need to be repeated. Now, if you're looking to only archive items that may have been in the store, let's say a year ago, or really between any point in time, you can run an inventory filter by in stock date. Just choose your start and end date, then click done. The software will only show items that were added into the Ricochet account between these in stock dates. And of course, you can always run a second filter by status if you would like. If you need to archive a specific consigner and their inventory, just look up that consigner's account, go to the Inventory tab, Archive All Available Items, then go back to Accounts and archive their consigner account. Finally, if you do go to the View Archive section under Products or Accounts, you can either delete in-stock items or restore items or consigner accounts. Maybe an item got archived by accident or a consigner came back after a few years. Simply check the box next to the item to either restore or delete the item. Also, if you would like to organize items by status, you can click the status title. Once you do this, you'll notice the arrows change. You can have all the in-stock items appear at the top of the list, and you can use the Items Per Page drop-down menu to expedite the process.